okay welcome back now in this video i'm going to show you how to take the microsoft sql server database into the single user mode okay and i'm also going to show you how to make a database read only okay and the other part is how to attach a database and detach a database okay let's start with the first one okay go to pubs database and right click on the pubs database and click the properties once you click the properties database properties that comes up in the windows okay journal tab it will show you lost backup date lost log of back okay there are many other things we can go into the details later then there is a file file group then there is a file okay this is it will show you the master database and a log file name okay file group also will show you the same thing this is it will show you the file name okay option names options is what we are looking for right now okay now go to the restricted user okay and click the single user mode and click okay and that will put your database into the single user mode remember that until and unless you are there are other user who are connected to the database you will not be able to go into the single user mode until and unless you use the statement would roll back okay okay suppose i want to go back to the again to the multiple user again i click here and again i say okay okay so that is how you get into single user and multiple user mode okay now let's go and see let's go and type the command sp who that is stored procedure who okay it will tell you who are the people who have been logged in okay at the current moment okay this is what the output is okay right now there is only one user that is me who is logged in as an administrator okay but there would be many user who would be who will be logged in as when you are whenever you are taking time to take the database to the single user mode or trying to database to the offline okay okay so you have to see that there are other users who are logged in and you have to kill that user sp id okay sp id number okay okay now let's go to the or you can use it i'll show you what to do if you want to go into the single user go and type the command okay use master go okay alter database pubs okay set single user set single user okay and go and let's execute this sql and see what happens the database has been changed to the single user mode okay let's go and see it okay to the same place let's go to the option okay first when i refresh it refresh the database okay click on the database and select refresh and you will see that the pubs database is in the single user mode okay now let's go and make it again into the check it to the change it to the multiple user mode okay so again i have to go how to change the database into the multiple just actually change the word multi user okay and let's execute this command okay this time okay again it is in the multiple user mode okay 
this is how you take the database in from the single user mode to the multiple user mode and from multiple user mode to the single user mode okay okay why do you need a single user mode the single user mode is often needed to fix the database okay issue by running a dbcc okay check db commands okay dbcc check db commands are actually the command that are used by the administration of the database okay Oh. Okay. If any database is in the single user mode, okay. Remember the copy database which I showed you previously will fail. Okay. So be careful. Never to bring a database in the single user mode if you want to copy the database. Okay. Now suppose if you wanted to take the database offline, why why would you like to take the database offline? You want to take a database offline because you want to copy the database somewhere else. Okay, if you try to directly copy the database by using a copy command or copy the from the Windows Explorer, okay, it would work because the database are locked under the SQL Server. Okay, so the task go to the task and say take the database offline. Okay, once you click the database offline, the database would go offline, and then you can copy the database from one place to other. Okay, you can have to copy the MDF file and LDF file, that is master database file and log files. Okay. Okay, the log file is the database is going offline. It is showing the progress. Hold on for a second. Pub is showing a status of offline. Okay. Now means this database is offline. Now that you can copy the database from one place to other, either using a copy command or using a copy and paste from the Windows Explorer. Okay, and similar in a similar way, you can bring the database back, bring it online. Okay, and the database is brought online. Okay. Now suppose you you wanted to create a database that was read only or read write only. Okay, how would you do that thing? You cannot. You don't have any options for the taking the database to the read only mode. Okay, to select the task, there is nothing. But on when you click the right click to the properties. Okay, and you click the options. Okay, from the tab. Okay. There is the options. These are database properties. Okay, the options will show you a lot of options of the database. There are many. Not to go. I am not going into the detail of any any one of them right now. Let's go and check the option. Okay, there is a state that shows database is read only. Okay, there are many other. See, there are the same thing with the restricted access that was single user and multiple user. Now this is the database with the read only, and I can check it, ch change it to the true. Okay. And we get a database to the read-only status. Now it's asking to change the database. SQL Server must close all the other connections to the database. Are you sure you want to change the properties and close the other all the other connections? What it means is that if anybody else is connected to your this database, they would be actually dropped. All the connections will be dropped. If I say yes, don't select yes until there are a lot of users and they are actually logged in. Be careful about this thing. I am only the single user actually logged into the, this database. Okay, so hold on for a minute. Database pops is showing me in the, the read-only mode. Okay, now let's bring the database back to the same. Again, go to the property. Again, go to the option tab. Again, this time make it false. Okay, so it becomes read-write only. Okay. So you are having a database that is read-write. Okay, the thing is, why why bring the database into read-only? Firstly, the thing is that once you bring the database read-only, it will remove all the user data, all the connection data are there. Okay. So the same thing is applying here again. Remember that thing what I told you. Okay. Locking overheads are not there because it is a read-only database. Okay, 
why do you want to have suppose there was only you wanted to only query the database and there were a lot of users okay and they want they were all logged in for querying the database so what happens if the database read only nobody is modifying the there the log overheads would go down so there is a performance benefit it's good for reporting it's good for many other activities okay or before you actually want to take the database to the read only you should use the update statistics you should rebuild the index add the users add the index okay and only after that because once you are in the read only mode you won't be able to do all mo most of these things okay that is how you take the database to the read only okay in the database offline as i already shown it to you okay take offline bringing online okay the database you cannot be modified there can be no select insert update delete okay whatever it is okay now i will come to the detach and attach the database what is detach the database suppose if i want did not want the database to be here okay and i wanted to take it somewhere else or i did not want somebody to be working on the this database for a very long time okay so i can use a detached database okay if i say detach the database okay it will detach the database means it will remove it from the database list okay and the database would no more be visible neither as a read only and the entry would not access at all okay as as okay and the database is being detached see the pubs database the pubs database is uh, disappeared from here okay let's go and select again bring it back attach the database using so i go and say attach the database now it will ask me where do uh, from where what database i have to attach and it will show me the options i can attach the pubs database here again and click okay and it uh, it will attach the database hold on for a second it is showing the database mdf file and ldf file okay if one of them is log file is missing it may it may create a problem okay so click okay the pubs database has appeared down now this time okay as you can see that's it that's that's we are done with the today's attach detach bring it offline offline okay read only okay single user multi user database okay